tours, your tour guide knows everything. Okay? So, that's not, true at all. <laughs> not at all. There are so many things in the cemetery to know. I will never know it all. Never ever. Um, do you remember how many people are buried here? Thirty-two thousand. A little over thirty-two thousand. Very good. I told you that five minutes ago. Um, do you know how many people live in the in the city of New Albany? Right at 36,000 as of the 2010 census. So we have almost as many people living in New Albany as we have buried here in this one cemetery. So there are lots of stories to be told and I will never tell them all, but I think it's just really important that we remember the people that are buried here because they are our history. Um, as we walk through tonight, you're gonna to see a whole lot of stones that have orange ribbons on them. Most of those are indicating that they are stones that we have marked that need repair in one way or another. Some of them have been repaired this summer. Do you remember um, Jacob Domolesky, a young man who has been one of our portrayers for a long time? Mm -hmm. He now has his own company that is restoring and cleaning stones. So we hired him this year, Friends of Fairview hired him this year, and he did a whole lot of work. In our program, you'll see a stone, and I forgot the name of it, Mr. Fitch, but I can't remember his first name. He has one of those big above ground mausoleum grave things and it was in really bad shape and there's a before and after picture in there you'll have to take a look at i think you'll like that it's really nice so that's one of the things that friends of fairview does we are we're an educational organization we don't get into the macabre or the scary and creepy uh, there's no point for that we like the history of it and that's what we do so our main purpose is to educate our, our public about what is here the stories that are here and to keep this cemetery in as good a shape as we can um, because the, the cemetery is as old as it is, it was first here in 1841, um, we've had a lot of stones that are deteriorating just because they're old. But we also have a lot of stones that have been vandalized. And that, that's what makes me sick. A few years back, I thought I was going to just lose my ever-loving mind because we were setting up for stories. These three young men came through the cemetery. They were on their skateboards. And that's fine. Being a skateboard that doesn't hurt anything. But they started, I don't know what the maneuver is called, but they jump with their skateboard and then scoot along the, like the walls or the whatever, and they were jumping up on tombstones. And I thought I was going to lose my mind. Um, but you know, that was a teaching opportunity. So you don't get mad, you just teach. So that's what we intend to do. So we're just going to walk around the corner. Two things we do ask tonight as we're going through. If you've got your cell phone, make sure it's on vibrate. And number two, don't wander away anywhere because she does have a cattle prod and she will beat you. So stay on the asphalt because they did mow this week and there's some ruts where the moles have been. So I don't want you to get hurt.